theory of it is this, when I really, you know, when people tell me Facebook didn't work for their practice, no matter their sort and their style, it doesn't take me more than maybe a quick little peek under the hood to tell them why. And usually it's this first thing is way off target. You have to have a message that matters. Welcome to the Marketing Your Practice podcast. Another new intro again. I'm coming <laughs> up. We're going to do this. the other one. <laughs> no, I'm sticking with this one. Got a question for you. Have you tried Facebook advertising but it hasn't worked? Or are you wanting to get in and start using Facebook advertising? So if you answered a yes to that, then you must, must, must listen to this episode with Tony Ebel. Tony has a strategy for attracting high quality new patients using a process of driving them first of all through to a workshop. His conversion rates are outrageous. He's spending about $2,000 tops for the whole thing, bringing in well over $80,000 worth of income. And we go through this step by step by step through what kind of ads should you be putting in there? What should you be saying in the ads? Where do you drive them? How many people turn? This is the nitty yeah. gritties that we go through as, as well. So super important stuff. Super important stuff, gang. If you've been looking at Facebook advertising as the low hanging fruit, $17 come in for a free consult, whatever it is, then this is a whole new concept for you. And we'll build your practice because we're always talking about the fact that if you had a, an endless supply of people who actually wanted what you have to offer, that's, that's gold. And this is what Tony goes through in this strategy session, uh, talking about how he builds his practice. Yeah, I wanna just double tap on that again. The fact that this really is about attracting in high quality patients, not people who you're giving a half price entry yeah. into your practice, free massages, those kind of things. You wanna find the people that are raising their hands in your community that have a problem that you have a solution to, then this strategy is absolutely yep. what'll work for you. Now we get into the nitty gritties. Tony and I have actually put together a summary sheet of how Tony goes through this whole process. So don't stress if you're listening to this as you're kind of driving along in your car or wherever you are, you can get that at adiomedia.com forward slash 30. That's the number 3030. Uh, and you can get that summary. So awesome. Uh, no more mucking around. Let's get into it because this is a wonderful time. See you in there. Tony Eber, welcome to the Marketing Your Practice podcast. So great to have another Tony on. Uh, you know, uh, not only do we have beautiful haircuts, we have beautiful names, don't we? Tony <laughs> and Angus agrees, you know, I know he does. No, I, well, I, I do agree in this. I, I have to admit, there's some moments of jealousy I'm having between here. I'm like, oh, it's good, it's sharp. It's very easy. It's, there's no bad hair that happens between either of you. So I think that's Massive. a comment I hear a lot from people that have hair, that apparently it's easy. Dude, you know, it's not as easy as it looks. No. It takes it's, a lot it's, of work. It's, it's, it's a lot of maintenance and upkeep, truthfully. It, it, yeah. It's easy when you're like up in the morning and going, but yeah, you get, you get a bit obsessive about the cleanliness of it. It's so, get shiny yeah. like this on its own. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what I, I was interested in too, because I reminded Tony of this beforehand. Last time we spoke to you, very enjoyable, but significantly more margaritas involved pre our conversation last time. Can you remember that? You oh, that's right. <laughs> Yes. I'm not sure whether yes. you want eight or 18 margaritas into it before we started talking. But Why didn't we do that this time? Why did we, that, wasn't in the, that wasn't in the directions, or I missed it. I don't know, we, I missed it. We didn't realize that you needed uh, a permission for that. So we've, we've been on it. So, you know, we've got cocktails going here. Any, any drinks oh, with friends, we're go. on it. Yeah. Well, it, it'd be a bit more appropriate. I'm, I'm in the evening. You're in the middle of the day. Your problem might be a bit more trumped up if you guys mm -hmm. were. But, you know, buddy, we're Aussies. Mm -hmm. So okay. time is True. not. <laughs> True. True. It's, uh, when you're awake, it's okay. So um, I, I made my way over to Fiji on fire this June, as you guys know, and mm -hmm. barely made my way back. <laughs> yeah, that because that, it was all of you all. And it was, it was a tough was like, swing home, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it sure, it sure was. It sure we, was. We've looked admiringly at Fiji on fire for a while, Tony and I. We realised the on fire is mostly because of the amount of tequila that's drunk. But if somebody dropped a match on you, you would burst on fire. So, so that's just straight science and true. Yes, <laughs> that's that's where it comes from. Well, moving from bald heads that take a bit of work to the illusion of 
building a practice, building a tribe, building a community that knows, likes, and trusts you and knows what you do seems easy. But there's a lot of work and stuff that goes in behind the scenes. And we'd love to dive into that as to how you've built what seems to be this real hub of pediatric care in your town, in your community. We're epic, which is a well, it's an epic use. practice. It really is. And so, you know, we want to look at how have you done that? And, and we know that you're employing some strategies that are a little bit different to how most people are uh, trying to build their practice. So, yeah, let's... Um, yeah, in particular, because this we, we want to talk about the Facebook hmm. um, as well, yeah. because we have so many people come to us and go, ah, look, try this Facebook thing, it didn't work, it's a waste of time, I don't like Facebook. And yet we give them strategy, and the strategy that you use too um, is incredibly successful, and you've been generous enough to, let's lay it down, okay? So pens and paper out, everybody. Hmm. If you want to use Facebook to build an epic practice, and attract highly qualified people who want what you have to offer, then this next 30 minutes is going to show you exactly how to do it. So buckle up. Let's go. Okay. You got it. You know, I think the first most crucial step, right? And, and so we, we, as, as I think all good teaching conversations need to do, right? Start 30,000 foot and, and get the viewpoint right. And then, then figure out, dial in and land the plane. And, and, and we certainly will too, because I'm, 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 I'm Tony, the technician, the technician, you know, I'm, I'm tactical as can be, and I love it. And I love the theory too, but I, I really love to get right into it. But the theory of it is this, when I really, you know, when people tell me Facebook didn't work for their practice, no matter their sort and their style, it doesn't take me more than maybe a quick little peek under the hood to tell them why. And usually it's this first thing is way off target. You have to have a message that matters. That, it, it's like you can't skip first base, right? And, and I'm just going to be me here with you guys. So many messages going to certain markets are just so boring. They're just so off base. They're just in such a, or, or they're in a red ocean, right, of, of just unbelievable competitive fire. Now, here's what's cool. We're going to get into the tactics and do all that. You can actually, Facebook is so effective when you employ the whole arsenal you can still be effective in a boring, lame, competitive market, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but, but, if, but if you start first by saying, okay, we, we in Epic, we call it, how do you step five to 10 feet outside of what everybody else is doing? Um, and in the practitioner game, heck, just, just being good at Facebook would be that in and of itself. Uh, but that's, that's the thing I think we've really crafted with, with Epic Pediatrics and the Perfect Storm. It is a message that isn't just sort of kind of wanted by the public. It is in demand. These moms are absolutely beating down the, the virtual doors, if you will, to get to it. So when we put the whole strategies and implementation behind it, it literally catches like fire and it's hard to keep up with sometimes in a very, very good way. Yeah, what a quality problem to have, oh. hard to keep up with. So what, what is the message that you guys have decided to have go out into the market? And can you kind of juxtapose that with some of the people that you look at that are having no success? What are the kind of messages that they're putting out there that are more vanilla, so to speak? Yeah, yeah, great question. So we're, we're a pediatric chiropractic focus. Specifically, my real niche is, is what we call the perfect storm. So autism, ADHD, seizures, spectrum, all of that, you know, neurostorm sort of stuff as, as our good buddy, Dr. Fletcher, and I are, are you know, in on and, and do. And so that's there. Now, with it forever, and I've always, for 11 years I've been in this, running this practice, and I've been busy from the beginning because I employed the same, look, I'm gonna say it this way for today, this convo with this channel, I've employed the same strategies forever, I just have better, easier, cheaper, more effective platforms, right? Now that Facebook has replaced the radio and the newspaper, I'm on fire even more so than before. So again, the certain market in the message, even just in the chiropractic lane, that's a clean, clean, there's, there's very few anywhere that are bringing that message to the community. It's a high demand, high need. Um, I always talk about it this way. Truthfully, it's an unfortunate reality are my two words that it is in such demand. I, I wish I had to get busier with something else, right? I, I wish there wasn't so many kids stuck in that store. But, but I know where they are and I know what they're struggling with and I know I'm, I'm and, and our crew is the best to get them out of it. So I'm hell bent to use whatever platform um, to get them there. And I think the contrast, Angus, would be, you know, the, the vanilla, the same pain message with the, the graphic is it's a dude with his lightning bolt sticking out of his butt 
And it's, you know, it's just this, everybody's used, it's the same thing that used to sit in a newspaper ad or a yellow book, you know, phone book with everything else. If it just, if the same boring message that 400 other people have, if you're now just putting it on a Facebook feed instead of a phone book, it's still going to be as ineffective because yeah. it just doesn't have the pull, right? It just doesn't have the bind to it. So I, I think chiropractors need to wake up from that pain game. And this is just a Cairo conversation across the board, right? They need to know that there's a lot more that they bring to the life of these patients. So why don't they bring that message to life right away in their marketing? You know, they always think they're going to just catch them with the, 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 the standard stuff and then light them on fire and tell them the big story when they get inside. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, right? Well, you don't yes, get inside. And, and an old school strategy might be, even if you're looking at these perfect storm kiddos, ADHD might be, you know, a kid crying saying, uh, you know, got ADHD, come see us. Like, and, and then putting that on social media and then going, well, shit doesn't work. So... Nope. What are you doing differently? What's the new strategy that is working clearly? What are you doing oh, yeah. differently? Uh, okay, here's, I totally, here's, here's the first most important thing. You need, to, and people don't think I ever do because I talk so much, but I'm actually really, 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 really good at listening and learning. We are tuned in. We are tapped in. We are trolling and scrolling and asking and listening all the time to moms in person and to everything, what the conversation is, you know, the internet word would be literally what's trending, right? So we're listening to what matters to them. I care nothing about what I need to call it on the ad or what the graphic is going to play. And we split test everything. You know, I don't care which one wins. I care that one wins and I know what it is. So the real crafting of the message, graphics, headlines, copy, and everything has to do with using their words back to them so you only you have to begin by first being connected to them and asking not the question oh you got adhd that stinks you know that's surface level right that's this just standard stuff so that's not going to have any pull they're just going to keep scrolling because that's how everybody else markets is vanilla when you actually start speaking their words and their message right away that's the pause of the thumb or the index finger that yeah. we need right for them to go whoa that message is different. They actually know what the heck I'm going through. And this is where you guys crush it with your podcast, which I've been loving, by the way. Thank you for it. Is the no like, and trust. It, you, almost, you almost get all three instantly when you craft the message. I'm actually going to remove the almost. You get all three instantly when you craft the message correctly. Because if you crafted the message to the depth of what actually matters to them, they already like you so much because you care enough to listen and they automatically as a mom or a dad they're going to trust you because you would only know what you put in that message if you cared enough to listen in the first place yeah. so you literally just you know <clears throat> buddy it's the foundation and it's a conversation that tony and i are having with people again and again and they want to get into show me the ad show me this and it's we get too far ahead of ourselves and i think it was you know one of the great marketers john carlton used to say this enter the conversation that's going on inside of people's heads. Or a couple of weeks ago, we spoke with uh, Karen Smith and she says, uh, 2 a.m., what's in it for them? You know, what's at 2 a.m. in the morning when this mum is not able to get to sleep because she's worrying about her little boy? What is she saying? Now, we all, you know, in terms of when we think about likability, which is the foundation of what will give you great results in life, not just in your marketing there too, we like people who are like us. You know, when there's something, when there's a similarity, when Tony uses the same language that I do, you know, how do these parents refer to their children? Do they say spectrum? Like what even language? And when you can use that, that's thumb-stopping content there. And, and it's the stuff that's a little bit unsexy. You know, if you just sit yeah. there and listen and listen and listen, but when someone's marketing isn't working, it's almost always, 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 always niche. Like they haven't nailed their audience. Once you know your audience, yeah. So it comes back yeah. to a comment that you said before, Tony, that you've got to have a message that matters. And on that, it matters to who? Not that it matters yeah. to me, that it matters to the people I'm going to save. Um, so that's yeah. really brilliantly put. And so we're getting, we've got, we've listened, we've got these messages, we know what they're talking about. We're going to put that inside some copy in our ad. 
to get their thumb to stop, then what happens? Your way they're going. Yeah, yeah. Just to double down for a second before we go yeah. to that, you know, I, I got to give credit to, to my main mentor of communication, Dr. David Jackson, right? ETC is as epic as it gets into that conversation and, and meet them where they're at, right? And, and figure out that depth. And he was the master of doing it at a day one and in public. And now we just get to transpose that message and reach more of them with Facebook and Insta and everything else. So it's, it's literally, here's what's awesome about this. When you craft and, and, and get to this place on Facebook and you're succeeding here, do you know how easy your consult and your report and I mean, it's, it's literally right. You just hit that trifecta in a heartbeat. So, so what happens next for us, I am still forever. And especially with this message, cause I want to, I want to so 10 X the no like and trust factor at the very beginning of the relationship. And, and maybe everybody, this is me. I did ask my wife to, I bought the ring after two months and asked her to marry me after three months. Cause I, it's going well right now. I don't want to screw this up. You know, I, like, let's just, <laughs> let's get down. this going <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I feel like the ring is like an anchor. So, you know, it's, you know, I, she seems no like and trust me right now. Might as well not wait this out. No. So, but, but, so I mark it in the same way. Not only I would come up with that metaphor. But we go deep in the connection early. We call this an epic, the hard, easy model of building a practice in marketing. We put a whole, whole lot of legwork and intelligence and output. Um, and you said it, Tony, at the intro, you know, there's a lot of work into this. And, and I love the work. You got to love, love, love the work, right? Because you got to love the result and the impact. Um, so what we do is what happens after the majority of our clicks on a Facebook ad, most every single one of our Facebook ads are specifically driving traffic to our events. And this is another big thing I want to get across to everybody that there's, there's, there's this myth out there today that is somewhat right, but definitely not all the way right, that people are so busy and everything is so online that they will not attend an event anymore. And, you know, go to the Super Bowl and feel like if that's true, right? People still go out. It, being in person still has a great connection. The only thing that's changed is it's easier and cheaper by a lot to connect to them virtually to say, hey, you should come to this workshop come to this talk, come to this event. Now, do we blaze webinars and videos and video blogs and video trails and everything else all the time? You bet. There is always something alive that a mom can watch in the Perfect Storm conversation and become a patient from that. But I also know that they really, really, really want to extra know, like, and trust me. And I know that if I get them in a room with me for an hour, hour and a half, that is done. Day one, day two, full care plan, lifetime. And I... And I know how our practice works with Epic too. We call it the plus three model. We need 30 days to add the family and even three more friends, right? So one matters to get that, that virtual click to become a butt in the seat. So I still do the Perfect Storm Workshop locally um, that we run and host at least once a month. I usually do one or two out for other practitioners too, which, yeah, I, can, I use Facebook to find them too, right, and, and make those connections or they find me. So we drive traffic to the events and we still put it there. Now, again, I think it backs up and this thread ties into the first thread. It's got to be a topic that matters, I, right? I mean, nobody's, nobody's leaving their babies and going out at night to go to a boring talk about a boring topic at the library, mm. <laughs> you know, like with, with, with ham sandwiches. And it's just not happening. You know, you got, you got to make it an event. So we are a very event-based marketing practice whose social media, Facebook ads and traffic drives traffic to that so we call it bridge building right and i've that's just to be contrary because everybody else calls it funnels and they think they know what that is right and, and i just so i just call it bridge building right mm. and we get them from the ad from the testimonial we get them to the event hey guess what not everybody shows if they don't show guess what they get a video right you know they're marketed to ever the next month's event but they also get a video they get a webinar they get whatever they need to eventually get it in the practice resistance is futile we're coming at them from everywhere right and and, and once we have them and the, the contrast for last thought on this one is it works the same as it did for me in 2008 this is what i love to share and i think we shared this on another thing one time i literally used to spend five thousand dollars in my county in my area outside of chicago on radio ads and the call to action from the radio ad, I knew that in that 60 second skit, I didn't have enough no like and trustability to get them to come in. So I was patient and the call to action was always to come to the workshop. 
So I spent $5,000 via radio because that was the best thing at the time, right? Had the most traffic to promote my workshops and then closed and converted there. Now I can spend $500, usually far less per month to put far more into the workshop and they're better, you know, more conversions mm -hmm. into that too. So it, yeah. it's the same kind of funnel. Yeah, I used it. You know, it, 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 it just happens. It's relationship building. And you said before, and even though things moved quickly with you and your wife at three months to marriage, I mean, you didn't try and pull that on date number one. And I think the biggest hurdle, the hardest and most difficult thing that our patients will ever do is the initial consultation. Once they've made that initial consultation, just don't muck it up. And then there are processes that you can do along the way where they are so educated, by the time they get to us, they know us, they like us, they trust us, they've seen your videos, they've seen your office there. They're coming to you and they're just saying, Tony's, tell me what to do. Like, what do I need to do? And the idea, so that, you know, building that bridge, I like as a bridge there too. Yeah, let's, you've, you've seen an ad, you've watched a little video of me, you've come along, we've had another hour together there too. It's yep. relationship building. And I think it's, it's brilliant and it's simple that it's brilliant and it's massively effective too. So, um, you know, Crazy kudos stuff. to you for, for doing that. And you can see the difference of that too. That gang, this is probably not going to work. If you put something up, says, look, hey man, is your neck all stiff and cranky? Because if so, then Thursday night, I'm going to be doing this workshop about stiff and cranky necks and tight shoulders. Yeah. That's not getting anybody off the couch from watching their favourite show to come in and find out. You know, we need something bigger than that. And not that... It, you know, there are, you can link it around. If, if you really love musculoskeletal stuff, just package it in a way that's bigger than, because those people that have sore necks and stuff like that, you can bet that they're not great husbands and wives. You bet that they're not great parents. They're not excelling at work. But you, it, it's a bigger story and it's packaging. You know, when the little ring, when the wedding ring comes in one of those blue boxes, it's packaging. Okay, it has a right. different world when it's from Tiffany's then when it's not, same ring, different package, same story, different packaging, and you've masterfully packaged that whole mm. thing there too. If I ran, you guys are gonna love this, and, and I think it's clean. I don't, I'm going with it though. This is, our, this is me, fellas. You knew what you were getting into here. Right? Oh, yeah. So if I was to run a musculoskeletal practice based upon low back pain, my ad would say, are you sitting on the couch right now watching Netflix instead of in the bedroom? Creating your own Netflix, you know, something yeah. like that, right? Yes, you know, absolutely. There you go. No, so I've at least thought about it. If, if yes. something happens, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's, yeah. It's, Do you not want to hear that, honey? I've got a headache tonight. You know. <laughs> yes. Right. What What matters? That's the whole. It's literally true, right? Into the yeah. conversation, like, oh my god, my low back sucks, so I can't do this. My, there's a headache there, so you know th those are the, this is the exact reality of what the yeah. message has to be. And of course, you would test that, and it might work. And if it doesn't, great. And if it doesn't, you find something new. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a concept beforehand, which if you could expand on, because it could help this. You, you use the word a red ocean. What's a red ocean, and what's the flip side of that? What are we referring to when we're talking about this, and, and how can people start to thinking about getting out of the red ocean and into the blue ocean? Yeah. So, you know, just to get very pointed with it in the red ocean right now, I mean, on my feed locally that I, I get them too. the red ocean for chiropractors is $19 and $21 voucher ads for neck pain, back pain and headache. Right. Every, every Cairo in every town, everywhere is running that ad. And again, yeah, like you were mentioned just a bit ago, here's what's crazy about this, right? It's even if you get some leads from that, which they can, you know, what so many people who say Facebook didn't work for me, Nah, you didn't work well with Facebook because, again, the niche, the market. But if your day one is awful, you know, th that's why when we combine everything we're talking about tonight with an epic chiropractor, because we crush the training on the inside, right? They know their niche. They, they, they're great at, at communication day one, day two, care planning. So the more we throw these channels at them, ugh, they, they can't keep up uh, again. So that's Red Ocean to me. Um, Blue Ocean, Again, in the, is, is the, what I know best is absolutely in the pediatric framework and niching yourself. And truthfully, I mean, most people don't even know that pediatric chiropractic exists yet, right? You say chiropractor to someone in Australia, the States, or anywhere, and they assume neck pain, headache, and back pain. You say pediatric chiropractic to someone, and they're literally stumped. And that, that I, I kind of use this metaphor with it. 
they're instead of already having the download, oh, I know exactly what you do, what you don't do, what you are, you know, yada, yada. There's no download, which is a beautiful thing. It's a blank Word document. So whatever the hell comes out of your mouth next mm. fills that Word document, right? For the rest of that person's life, which is why you've got to be a communicator of, of epic proportions to get to that degree. But I, I see it across the other sections too, you know. There's, there's so much niching to sub niching to sub niching you can do when you find a sub niche then you listen to the sub niche and you craft your message to it you can actually on the surface exist in the reddest devotions yet you can find yourself very 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 specific if you just dial in one or two layers deeper than than most everybody else does yeah there's all uh, it, it brings back to our practice multiplier number one which is just be be good at what you do as is a sort of a foundation we've got to be good at and i want to just remind our listeners that you, you get this traffic driving into a workshop you can't suck at your workshop as well i mean tony trains hard at mastering the workshop so that he can deliver great value and make it a no-brainer that people say tony can i can i have my child check please you know, so we've got to be great at that as well. It's not just about saying, let's get leads in and then our bucket's empty and people just fall away because you crap at what, uh, what you delivered in the workshop. So please, please, please be great at what you do. That being said, and in the uh, you know, spirit of being contrary, so we talked a little bit before about Dave Jackson. And remember Dave's uh, yep. National Wellness Foundation for the ear infection yep. stuff. So Dave had a program where he taught through all of this. So I implemented it. I ran a ear infection workshop uh, down at the local yacht club down here too. Worst workshop I've ever given. My, like I'm, I'm comfortable public speaking, right? Dude, Dude I was so bad. Oh, <laughs> was horrible. So horrible. So horrible. Still got eight new patients from it. Like, but imagine what you could have got. Yes. You would have got 80. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but sure all enough. I'm saying is this. No one's going to be, what I, because I don't want this to be an excuse for our audience that they're thinking, I've got to be like Tony, or this is not worth got me it. doing. Yeah. Because you're yeah, not, I guess I'm saying, know your yeah, stuff, deliver no, great content. Yes. Get some coaching, get some training. But this strat, here's what I did have going for me it was heartfelt. Like I did mm. it poorly, but I was, I, it was heartfelt. I was there, I was present. And with that too, there were still eight new patients that came from it. And yes, right. it would have been way more if I was better at it there too. But even done badly, with the best of intentions, focused on helping people, this stuff will, it'll blow your mind. Yeah. yeah, and I think at the end of the day, right, what's, so what's the sum total answer we should all strive for is all of it, you know? It's like when people go, oh, do you use Facebook to, to market your practice? Yes, do you, do you do videos? Yes, do you boost things? Yes, do you run ads? Yes, you know, do you do workshops? Yes, webinars, yeah, you know, people, they're, I don't know why they're trying to be so, I think they're, trying to be fancy and lazy at the same time, right? You know, they're, 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 and then they'll, they'll try one and it'll work for a bit and then they move on to the next one. And so I'm just relentless and obsessive and ruthless. I will do them all and do them all to make sure we get that message. And then when you add a great marketing message to a great caring person who has training on the communication to deliver, you nailed it, Tony, and you nailed it, Angus. You put the product with the person together Mm. Oh my God, that is why truly with Epic and, and what you guys were just talking about is the exact scenario. I can look across our Epic pediatric world, right? And, and, and we've got hundreds of, of chiropractors trained and, and licensed to do the perfect storm. And we, we give them everything. We give them the playbook. We give them the formula. We give, and like you were saying earlier, we give them examples, but that is just to see what's up. They need to put them in it. And I've got a guy in Ohio who, when you watch him on video, everybody who knows everything about video will go, oh, right? Not going to work killing it killing it right because mm -hmm. he's just authentic and real so he's as effective as can be we got a mormon in missouri killing it right who is there and then you get you know excited extroverts introverts all that sort of stuff this just works so well that everybody can plug into it and as long as they're putting the output this is what i've really been preaching to our clients lately they look you're just not outputting enough so why are you complaining about your input of new patients? Mm. Do one or the other. Do what it takes. Put enough content out. Look at you guys right now with ADIO are on fire. You are putting out content. You're on my Instagram feed. You're on Facebook. You're in my email. You're with me tonight. And I love that. 
So guess whose stuff I'm listening to and paying attention to top of the pile right now? Yours, because mm-hmm. you're everywhere. And is that easy for you to do? No, nope. you put an effort, right? To, yeah. But, yeah. but it's it easy once it gets... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but once you catch fire, but, but it's fun, it's that hard easy, right? Yes. It, it takes um, that effort, it takes that too. Once it's on fire though, you can ride that wave and ride that momentum yeah. when you stay consistent. And that's what people don't do. They try and then bail. And then try and then bail and consistency is king. You, you yeah. get out there and do that, you're, you're good to go. Yeah. Tony, I want to touch on um, who's doing what. I know you've got a team, you've got some CAs that do a lot of the social media stuff for you. Could we umbrella and say, well, what would be an expectation, maybe hours spent, staffing costs, and then we'll get into what are some of the results that you're seeing, not just in your practice, but some of your clients as well. Okay. Yeah, totally. So we have, I, I would refer to her uh, as a marketing agent. She was a, a patient, a perfect storm mom whose child was saved by chiropractic and family with us. So you can't get any more authentic and real than that. And even before she went to work with us, she built her own online business through Facebook. So she was a practitioner, not just a book reader of it, right? You know, it had all of this stuff. And so she goes to work for us. Catherine is her name, and she is worth her weight in gold. So, yes, she is our primary uh, connection officer. As, as we, her, her job is to get us strategy, you know, that she knows best. She's the play caller, to kind of use a sports analogy. She's the coordinator in the booth, right? So she's watching the field. She knows the book. She's well-trained. And, and, but she's always watching every day, every change, every conversation. So we're always doing the same thing, mm. but adapting on the fly, ready to do it, right? And, 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 and do that. So Catherine runs that. She's also then behind the scenes. She's the executor. When I first began this journey, I was uh, Tony the Facebook ad maker and watcher, and, and, and I didn't do that well. But yet I did, kind of our topic all night, right? It, it mm-hmm. still freaking worked. Catherine's just better. So she's behind the curtain too, running the show for us. So she, um, I, her, her allocated hours for our practice is between 10 to 15 hours a week that she spends with that. We meet with her in person twice a week. We use Slack, right, for constant communications. And she calls the place for us. You'll, you'll love this. I like to kind of get stuff to stick for people that are listening through, through some stories, not just kind of statements of it. Um, a couple of months ago, I was on one of these fun Cairo. I wasn't on it, but my me was the conversation and the topic on one of these Cairo hater feeds, right? The evidence informed folks had had a night with Tony Ebel at, at, at play, right? Yeah. Uh, and one of the local practitioners, a local chiropractor who's here, um, was on there and, and practices that way. And her comment was, I don't even think, he, he doesn't even adjust that many patients anymore. He's more or less just the billboard for the practice. And I read that, that was supposed to be a shot at me and I was like, <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. Yeah. Come on, right? I, 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 I literally wanted to drive to her house and be like, hey, you know, fist bump, good one. I'm, I'm, I, you're exactly accurate. Because yeah. that's what God made me to do. Can I adjust like a freaking Jedi? You bet. But am I, as you, can anybody deliver the message like I can? Not right now, right? Um, and, and for my practice specifically. So Catherine's the operator, she's kind of the shot caller. But then the whole team is involved. So we get together um, every other week, especially at the beginning of every month. We lay out our whole year and we lay out quarterly, but then we stay in tune every month and we say, these are the videos we need. So we create what I call our set list, right? And we say, okay, this is the main topic and workshop and focus. So our conversations need to be centered around that this week. Here is the set list. Here's what I'm going to say on Tuesday. I mean, we systemize the ever living hell out of it because that's what systems are for. You know, Can you give to, us an example a of a focus and what a set list might look like, Tony? Yeah, totally. So the perfect storm's coming up. You know, my next local one mm-hmm. is coming up in, in two weeks. I usually go two months in a row and then take a month off to kind of, you know, let some FOMO mm-hmm. and, and other things build up to it. And so now it's go time. We find our best registration, show rates and everything are, you know, the, the seven to 14 days ahead. So the first thing that is a must do for every practitioner is we have a constant stream of testimonials that they've been around forever. That's what radio ads used to be and newspaper ads used to be. So Facebook ads should and can still be that. Obviously certain regulations, I know like New Zealand, they can't and all that. So they've got to work around it. But we always have testimonials going out. The week or two before a perfect storm, guess what they're going to be about? ADHD and autism, 
not ear infections, not pregnancy, not the mom, right? So we choose to play certain testimonials during the, the time that we're promoting a certain event. And then the Facebook Lives, I, there, there's two things that I think sell, at least in my market, that I know sell. The two S's, stories and science. So when I'm turning on the video and going at it, I'm giving them tidbits and teasers about stories of the practice. And sometimes you need to go struggle. You need to go to the pain. You need to, as my buddy says, poke the bear, right? And you need to talk to the depth of what they're really struggling with for the 2 a.m. mom, right? Because she's in that struggle right then. So talk about it and know that, let her know that you know about it. Then the next story the next day is a mom who's sleeping at 2 a.m. now. You know, and you share that story, the good side of it. And then science. Science and technology are still, why did medicine brand chiropractors as unscientific? Because they knew that that would, you know, market position us in the worst way. So we sling science on our Facebook videos. And again, that's double down on that. That's very authentic to me. The Perfect Storm workshop in my practice, as you two know well, is very steeped in science. And I can deliver it and articulate it in a super easy third grade way. So that's the set list for the next two weeks. Like if you follow the PwC page, it's going to be three testimonials, ADHD, sensory spectrum, and I'm going to be going live or my doctors or my CAs are going to go live at least once a day, threading that conversation with the call to action being get there on October 25th. Got it. Perfect. And then those videos from there, are you boosting those out? So that's, there's an organic reach with those two. Then when you do yep. boost them out, Say again. Yeah, and then there's there's event based ads. So there's ads running all the time, especially the three week lead up to it, right? So yeah. there's ads running all the time, and then the videos and the testimonials and the boost. So we choose boost based upon which one catches fire, right? Yeah. You know, you, you put it up there and you see, you know, which one. Some days you're on, some days you're not, right? And 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 it, and it catches. And, and we know the time. But we you gotta you right. You break it all the way down to a system. I don't go live in the middle of the day or at three to four o'clock in the afternoon when moms are picking up their kids, driving them to soccer. They, they can't catch it. 9 a.m. right after they've dropped them off from school and they have a little bit of time and 9 p.m., 9, 9, 30 p.m. when they've gone to bed. Those are our tactical times. So, yeah. but yeah, we choose the boost based upon which one clearly caught some, some topic. Then yeah. we'll, throw, we'll throw some caption. Yeah. And then deeper dive on the boost again. Do you just boost that on uh, like a geotech, like location only, or uh, what sort of targeting are you doing for that? Some of this nowadays extends past my pay grade, Angus. <laughs> um, truthfully, I'm a, but I, I, I know enough to be dangerous. Um, yes, there is. It kind of depends on what we're what we're jamming on. We can do it locally, and we can do it based upon obviously interests you know, interests and look like audiences, right? So especially in the ADHD autism group, there's so many massive um, groups out there right. that you can kind of ride along with and yeah. say, hey, I know if you're interested in this conversation there, you're going to be very interested in my conversation here. Mm -hmm. um, and, pull them. and by the way, you mentioned it before, the previous version has been around for a long time. The National Wellness Foundation is alive and well again, good sir. Nice. We have taken it. Truthfully, right. right? It would take David. David is the most innovative freaking marketer. Ah, yeah, yeah. He he's the dude, right? And and what's amazing is that was set up back then to get the connection into a library or a yacht club that needed a nonprofit to give you access, yep. right? Very very intelligent. And then the ear infection. I pulled mine out to show my young interns like the intelligence. I just pulled my ear infection big old box. That shipped all the way across the ocean to you, With you know. The, the overhead you know. slides, remember that? Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, they were all printed, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's it's the cover just there, just there <laughs> is my stuff. It was crazy, and he built the whole thing out, and we've now done that with the perfect storm. It's easier, obviously, to deliver, yeah. right? We don't have to ship it; we can email. It. But literally, CD one was here's all the marketing material, here's all the promotional stuff that has been split tested and works, right? And training on that CD two was the PowerPoint, the actual content. But CD three was him delivering it. Here's how it actually gets done. It was the full kit. We have that now for our Epic Pediatric Chiropractors. The Perfect Storm is our lead horse, but we're developing it with immune challenges, pregnancy, and and everything else. So we deliver that. So now the National Wellness Foundation. Sorry, I'm, I'm jamming now, but the NWF is alive and well again. We are storming. Catherine's running the show for this um, as well because she knows that market. 
we went from like when we finally decided about 18 months ago to, to turn this channel on, we went from 3,000 likes to 60,000 likes in a heartbeat um, or 50 north of 50. The first perfect storm online broadcast webinar, right? We did it through Zoom and then and put it to Facebook Live. We had 3,500 moms register. Um, and we barely knew what we were doing, right? In that we barely spent any money. There was no split testing. This was rodeo number one. We had 100,000 organic views within 48 hours once that video went up on Facebook. Wow. Facebook and wow. Did it. So now all of our Epic chiropractors have everything they had before with the ear infection. The perfect storm goes local, all the training, all the, again, all the way to the practice too, right? Tony, they're good at the talk. They're good at the clothes. We train their staff, but also, I'm doing it for them. Third party endorsement. Yes. So on October 25th, I'll do it locally for 50, 60, 70, 80 moms. But on November 4th, I'll do it for hopefully three, four or 5,000. And we've generated over a thousand new patients every time we've done it. They just don't all come to me. They go to Stunning. training ready. Stunning. That's, Stunning. that's the force that we can use with, with Facebook because you can take you know, messages one person can deliver and you can say, hey, this is the message of all of us. Um, and, and again, I think the answer is both, you know, do it locally on your own and then get with a crew and do it that way too. Perfect. And are you getting consistently 50, 60, 70, 80 mums at your workshops every month? Yeah, totally. So we've switched to years ago, we used to charge $5. I, I, I did that again to get very tactical. Um, I did that to just kind of know what my show rates were going to be. Because you put on a free event, you know, and all they got to do is put their name and their email in, um, you know, the show rates are, are lower. So, but it's, it's all what the math all washed out. If you charge five bucks for an event, you're going to have a lower top line because they got to pull out their credit card. They got to really want to come even just for a nominal fee, right? But your show rates will be 80 to 90%. So on a free event, you're going to get show rates for, for the perfect storm. We fluctuate between 35 to 50%. Sometimes we'll go north of that mm -hmm. to the show rate. Now in the last two years that I have this whole marketing system and Catherine, I never used to have a damn bit of email marketing. I had no follow up. So, so to me, the email address of somebody who didn't come had no value. And that was on me. I hadn't built out those systems yet. Now that we have what I call our stalker system, right? You know, and, and they're getting fed into every other channel when they don't show, they'll show eventually. Correct. So now I like to have 120, we usually cap our room fits about 60 to 70 comfortably. So I like to cap it at about 120 to 140, um, just in case we get a crazy big show rate, you know. Okay. Uh, but that, and that's a that's a monthly run for us. Have you tried um, an indoctrination series of videos for the people before they come along? And did that help turn up at all? And you know, we've only just started to to tease that in a little bit with some other softwares and technology. I literally saw you guys talking about that on one of your trainings and shared it with Catherine. I was like, mm -hmm. yes, we, we need to split test that out to it. Yep. It makes a huge difference to us for the turn up at our, certainly our online events mm -hmm. too. If we can just remind them about why it's important, what we're covering and with everything, keywords of why this is new and different, why you haven't heard information like this beforehand, start to build some yeah. rapport and as with everything, deliver some value in advance, um, give some kind of cliffhangers and stuff like that. Um, that's yeah. that's the number one goal and target going for we to increase that show rate. That's going into Q4 at 2019. That's our that's our number one target right now is to work on that with with those moves. So if we've got 60 mums in a room or dads for that matter there too, what's um, you know once someone really gets this dialed in um, in terms of appointments and stuff that happened at the end of it. Um, yeah. what, what are expectations for somebody that's at Jedi level like yourself? So this, again, and, and this is, I, I love this. And then sometimes I'm like, it's, it's always goofy for me because I'm still just a farmer dude who, you know, <laughs> would like to drive his lawnmower, drink beer, go to CrossFit if it was that easy too, right? Yeah. Um, and, and that, so this, and I've been beating the same drum for 11 years. We use all the channels. I've got training by David Jackson. So, so yes, we're, we're at that level of it. My favorite group to work with, my, my, whole, um, my whole heart and passion with training other chiropractors is startups. Because to me, that's, that's me being the chiropractor for, for new babies, right? And, and not letting the chiropractor go into the perfect storm of chiropractic practice, pain and insurance and everything else, and, and then try and come out of it. So that's why I always try and buffer this for them and say, hey, when you hear our numbers and you hear our stats, we're 10 years deep. You know, so, so, so scale, this would be a CrossFit word, right? Scale accordingly 
when you start. And, and I think everybody listening would need to do that too, depending upon where they are in, in this journey and their niche and their market. So yeah, if we get 50 in a room, traditionally they're coming mom, dad, a lot of people when they come to an event, they'll bring two, three, four into their party for, for one kid. We get a ton of practitioners, OTs and PTs and teachers and social workers and all that. So we find that the, the what we call ideal patients that would come out of that is usually exactly about 50% of the attendees. So if there's 50, there's about 25 kids in there that we're able to have the conversation with and convert into care. And we've now 50 it would be the bottom that we convert um, at all times. Sometimes it works out different. I've had conversions of 130 full families will sign up, right? A lot of times. And tactically, I actually don't go for that anymore. We, we did for a while make that offer and you can do that. Um, now you got four people starting. It's a, it's a bigger combo. It's a bigger thing. I, I know they're all going to be internal referrals over time. So I'm patient. I'll start with the perfect storm kid get them under care, get them started and use my internal machine to get mom, dad and, and sister under place. So we're, we're persistent, but patient. So if, if we get 20, 30, you know, new patients out of it, these are perfect storm cases. We are an all cash practice. We are subluxation, substation, neurologically function based. This isn't just adjust them 12 to 24 times to alleviate their symptoms a little bit care plan. Our care plans are four to $5,000. Um, you know, so call it an average of four. You get 20 in there, that's an $80,000 night, you know, as, as, tar, as far as the collections. Mm-hmm. And, and I think if I called said chiropractor in whatever town, wherever, I said, I'm going to have you go do a talk to parents about something you love. I'll pay you 80 grand. I, I, I feel like they would do the talk. <laughs> and even, let, let's, let's back it up and say, hey, you know what, but three weeks ahead of time, this is why we're having this chat tonight. I actually got to finish that. Three weeks ahead of time, you got to do the work. You got to do Facebook lives. You got to send the emails. You got to do the indoctrination. You know, take, you got to do the work to get that to that point, but know that the outcome is 20 freaking lives transformed and 80. And that's just initial, by the way, right? That's just that kid's initial care plan. We have 95% conversions into wellness. Our referrals are right. So every one is worth exponentially more than that, mm-hmm. you know, just over a six to 12 month cycle. So yeah, that's our that's our run yeah and you gotta realize gang too because this scales so well so we if we talk about tony's numbers we're saying 80 grand and i said look okay you're going to start at 10 percent of that but if it's right. eight grand and you're doing two months on one month off then it's 16 grand a quarter so this is an extra 60 grand a year that comes from you know and let's not forget and the lives that you're changing with it too <laughs> So, and the costs involved in this, uh, you know, even if you were spending 500 bucks a month, um, and is that about your spend per month? Yes. So, yeah. So yeah, Facebook ads are, you know, if we're really pushing for a high number, I also know the seasons of when parents are really uh, mm-hmm. busy and when they're not. I also know the seasons of when they're, October is going to be our biggest one. It's, it's traditionally by far the biggest one. This is when kids are really struggling with school. They've been a couple of months in now. Their immune systems are struggling. So the, the poll is there. Yeah, it's about $500 a month um, on ads that we call it. And then we spend between $1,000 to $1,500 that night at the venue. So, you know, round up and call it $2,000. It's not bad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a fair return, isn't it? It's stunning. And <laughs> yeah, even, even as a startup, you're exactly right. What if oh. it was two? You know, I've, you know, if I said you were going to spend two to make eight. Oh, the numbers are so, it is so scalable that yeah. if you double the costs and divide the impact by, you know, I said I'm going to get 10%, it still is a phenomenal return that, that is exactly. working for you. So if it's not yeah. working, it's not, it, it, please, you can't put the idea that it's not cost effective because that doesn't yeah. work there too. Mm. So cautious of your time what have we not asked you that would be really good for our audience to know what else do we need to um would you share with our audience and then how can people learn more from you how can they be a part of the epic pediatric how can they you know all those kind of things i i think they actually go together there i guess you know i it, it really stuck what you guys are saying because you were both both exactly right in in the middle here you don't know where it's like hey you can this is what it is i i say it this way i fletcher talks a lot about this and i was 
I was in the midst, I was right next to him one time in an event when somebody kind of, you know, tried to come at him with, ah, I had your technology and it didn't work. You know, I, he, he's got to be sick of that combo more than anything. And I, and he's so kind because he's Canadian, um, you know, and, and that's what they are. And so he was given this very politically correct answer. And I might have been, it wasn't margaritas, guys, it was beers. I might have been a few beers into this post event thing and I'm me. So I was like, can I answer this for you? Like, if you gave me, you know, Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, you gave me the greatest golfer in the world's golf clubs, the best technology in the world right now. I still suck at golf with those clubs, okay? The score might change by one point. And it, see, look, it's not even in points in freaking golf. That's how bad I am, right? You know, I, and, and so my, my one shot, right? And so the, the technology in my hands can be the same thing. Dude, you didn't do the work. You're not trained. You just bought it and thought you were going to plug it in and it was going to work. Facebook's the same thing. So, so what I would say we have covered, I would just triple down on Facebook works beautifully. This system and the formula, like you were saying there, Angus, is, you know, it's, it's vast and it's intelligent and it's multi-layered and it's also beautifully simple. It's really not that hard, right? And you can just, it, it's the Gary V. Every time you go, oh, but it won't work for me because I'm an introvert or it won't work for me because I don't know technology. I can just show you Scott and I can show you James and I can show you a million other yeah, but, you know, if it worked for them, what's up? So, but to, you, you got to finish the product. And the product is you. You're the practitioner. You need training. You need coaching. The reason we don't give the Perfect Storm PowerPoint, I could sell it on its own, right? I could sell the kit, truthfully. I could sell that kit, old school, make it exactly like David's Angus, right? Put the CDs, put the PowerPoint, put it together. It, the Perfect Storm is the most marketable God, I'm going to say it this way because I really truly do believe it this way. I hope I know, I'm not coming across as fancy on this. The Perfect Storm is the greatest, best working workshop and event in chiropractic right now. Like mm -hmm. it's just slang. You could be Angus at the Yacht Club <laughs> and, 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 and do good with it, right? No, you can. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. And, and crush it. But, oh my God, you want to triple down on your potential. You finish that. We will not give it to anybody who then cannot deliver the goods. Because yeah. here's where it'll go. We'll screw it up. If everybody got to go out and say, I'm a pediatric chiropractor, here's the perfect storm, here's the combo, here's what I can do. And then that mom shows up on day one, you have no idea what the hell you're doing. Day two, you have no idea what the hell you're doing. You're going to adjust, interpret the scans, no idea what the hell you're doing. You will ruin the brand in a heartbeat because the virality of it that works to the good will come around and work to the bad. That mom will get on social and go in every group everywhere and go, I went to a chiropractor who said they could help and they were full of shit yeah. and they can't. So I would, I would triple down with my last time on you. Yes. If you have any, any desire to see kids in practice, I, I guess I'm just getting more and more forceful in my old age. You got to become an epic pediatric chiropractor because you will slay it yeah. with our training. We cover all of this tools yeah. and training on the local and then we'll do it for you too. You could be having on November 4th, our tribe will be having dinner with their families. They'll go in the office the next morning and they'll have 10, 15, 20 new patients that we got for them using the same thing, you know? So yeah, that's, and that's, that's just epicpediatrics.com. That's, you know, my epicpractice.com. There's a lot of channels to, to get to what we do. Um, that is what we do. Fine. Wonderful stuff, mate. We can feel the love, the energy, the passion through the mic and camera here. So we just appreciate and love everything you're doing. And guys, massive recommendation from Angus and myself for everything that Tony does, Epic Pediatrics. Get on board. We'll put a link down here in the, in the show notes for people to jump on and uh, consume it. Get on and just be yep. better at what you do and, and, and attract the tribe that you want to attract. Yeah. So good. Practice multiplier. Number one, yeah. be good at what you do. Yeah, be great at what you yeah. do there. And then you start to put these things on top of it there too. And uh, hey, mm. buddy, just we, we want to acknowledge you for one, sharing so generously mm. uh, with us tonight. And two, uh, so working so freaking hard um, to be yeah. this good. So thank you for, for that and for helping so many families all around there. You, um, you know, I, I, you're a hero to us. We, we were mm. very excited about getting on here and thanks for sharing with us today. Look forward to being uh, and chatting with you either online, in person, sometime real soon, okay? Thanks, buddy. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, thank you. See you, dudes. Just get the same boring. <laughs>
Yeah, I totally forgot. I was like, fuck, you're missing.